Hello, Kiriaki. Hello. We are uh, in Steki Metanaston, Kinoniko Kientro, this uh, one social center in Exarchia in Atenas. So, can we? This is this is your point of 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 struggle in many ways, where many projects come together for you. So, can we start uh, so that you explain what kind of projects uh, connect to this place? Okay, uh, we started uh, doing this uh, center uh, on 1997. It was an initiative of a network for uh, the um, support of immigrants and uh, refugees. And uh, then um, it came to be a place of solidarity, of uh, coexistence of, of immigrants and Greek people. Uh, doing several projects uh, having to do with the support, the solidarity. With uh, There are um, groups of teachers that are doing lessons for immigrants. Uh, um, they are also political groups of the left, like in the Network for uh, Political and Social Rights. Uh, they are people uh, from the LGBTQ movement uh, uh, doing their assemblies here, um, and so on. And we all together, um, uh, we are a part of the movement, the social movement uh, in Athenas, in Athenas, Greece. Nowadays, with the crisis, uh, we are more active. And uh, you told me previously that there are many things that you are organizing that um, are very practical, let's say, um, mm -hmm. things that have to do with um, organizing or reproducing the ways of life? Yes. Um, we have a so, um, collective kitchen uh, that uh, the people who make food for the neighborhood, for immigrants and the refugees, uh, and also many times they go out of uh, Exarchia, here, out from here, from this neighborhood, to other uh, neighborhoods or to strikes, let's say, sometimes in factories like Halivurgia. Um, they were on strike uh, nine months. We helped there, uh, things like this. Also, um, there is an open market uh, for the people of their neighborhood, uh, and um, uh, people sell their, uh, you know, vegetables and things. And we also go there with um, uh, food or with uh, clothes for the people who don't have uh, immigrants or Greeks, and things like this. And. Uh how do you see that the austerity has affected what you are doing or, or the life of Greek people in general? Um, austerity is very known to Greek people from years ago, but now with the crisis is more um, is getting worse and worse. People are affected, are more poor than ever, are homeless. Many of them, every day we see more people uh, uh, sleeping out uh, on the streets and uh, you can see people that uh, probably yesterday didn't have any need uh, today they have a need for help and uh, for support um, I mean to say that is getting uh, worse with the austerity thing in Greece with the memorandum and uh, all these measures against the people. So could we say that the austerity has precarized all the, all the Greek people? Yes, of course. We can say it and uh, precarious uh, getting more and more uh, um, obvious in the society. It was not so, bef uh, so obvious some years ago. It was uh, much less than today. Today we can say, yes, uh, what you said, that precarize all the people uh, without having to do with their job. It's a way of being, somehow. Yeah, there has been a... a precarious way of living. 
Yeah, and there has been a labor reform also here in Greece. Yes, there was a labor reform, very, very hard, um, that uh, dis um, dissolute. Uh, Dissolved. This dissolved the uh, the worker class and the relationship uh, with the wages, with the rights you have, uh, with the rights of your boss. Let's say now it's uh, all free for the capitalists, for the boss to do whatever. And uh, now the basic, uh, the, the lowest uh, wage in Greece is 500 euros. Eight days, uh, five days, eight hours, and um, things are getting uh, somehow very difficult, more than difficult. So, okay, uh, if if we think that uh, this the crucial question now in Greece and also in other parts of Europe, but if we now talk about Greece, is. Uh, how can people actually arrange their everyday life with so little money coming from the job and, and, and they are more and more um, dependent on the little job they have, even, even if it's with bad conditions. Uh, we have heard some commentaries about um, the polarization of the society in, in a way that there is uh, anarchist left um, social movement coalition, let's say, or, mm -hmm. or, or this area. And then there, on the other side, there is the neo-Nazi fascist movement. And both of these movements are, are trying to advocate their solution to, to the lack of any basic uh, reproduction of the life forms. Yeah. What do you think about this? Yes, uh, we can say that this, there is a polarization. Uh, of course, um, the good thing, let's say, <laughs> is that the, the fascists are not a movement yet. If they come to be a movement, the things would be very difficult. Uh, so, in the one hand is the movements, there are anarchist left, social movements, etc. And in the other hand, there are some fascist group that uh, have gained power in the last elections, 7%, but uh, in, a, in a social way of dealing with uh, this, uh, it's not a movement. They don't have these characteristics that made them a movement. They try to, to express a different uh, a, a solution for the crisis, it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, but they don't have so they are not the, so rooted in the society. So uh, if, if the main point of the anarchist left social movement is commoning, uh, if you agree that commoning is one of the, the main points, mm -hmm. uh, you think the fascists do not have the side of commoning in their, their politics? Uh, I believe no, they don't, they don't. But, but you do agree that commoning is one of the main focuses of the social movements? Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. Of all these uh, that you referred before, yeah. I think it is uh, an option, the main option, maybe. Yeah. Okay, uh, jumping from, from commoning in Greece to the transnational level, uh, what do you think, because we agree on the fact that we would need transnational collaboration, yes. mm -hmm. Um, between different movements of this kind who do a commoning, who reproduce the forms of life in, in different areas. Uh, what do you think are, are the steps that have to be taken in order to create this kind of collaboration? I think that, uh, first of all, we must find a way to connect to each other, uh, form structures, um, uh, and this is the crucial, I think, to form structures that you can, you, uh, where there you can meet with the others from um, other countries that have the same, prob the same problems and they have, to, they have a common struggle for all this that we just discussed. Um, we don't have it at this point, uh, but I think that things getting better. And in Greece, because of the crisis, um, 
people know for good that they need this. Uh, not only the group of the anarchists of the left that are internationalists in the ideas, but uh, common people discuss that it's uh, the only way to get out of the trap to do this transnational uh, structure and meeting points and common struggles.